The shingle-lined river mouths of the east coast, where the waters meet the southern swells of the Pacific Ocean, draws anglers from every corner of New Zealand. Here they try their luck, fishing the surf where schools of great fish begin to gather after three years of life in the ocean. From November through to the end of April, the annual migration run from the sea to the spawning rivers begins for some 50,000 quinnet salmon. The salmon have long been established in the east coast rivers of New Zealand's South Island. Known in the northern hemisphere as the Chinook salmon, they are renowned around the world for their fine eating quality and to anglers for their fighting ability. When a fish is hooked, it is normally because of an aggressive swipe at the lure, rather than a bite from a fish that is after food. As the salmon start their final run upstream, their gullets close off, preventing them from feeding. The Rangitota and the Rakaia are the most notable of the eastern waterways, and every year people line their mouths in the pursuit of these strong fighting fish. Further upstream at the Rakaia River Gorge, anglers can fish for the salmon, which are still on their instinctive spawning run to the smaller streams where they originally came from. These upstream waters are the preferred areas for visiting anglers to fish. Although the river runs swiftly, more conventional sports fishing tackle can be used and the true spirit of salmon experienced. The average weight of fish encountered is between 6 and 10 kilos, and fish up to 20 kilos are not uncommon. You don't have to be an expert to catch these fish. Anyone can often find themselves hooked up on a fish of a lifetime. Ah, uh, nice fish, sir. Yeah, whereabouts are you from, sir? Texas. Texas. Oh, right, right. right. Nice salmon. Fishing above the Rakaia Gorge in the less accessible upper reaches of the river can be quite productive. Stunning scenery plus thrilling jet boat rides are also part of the attraction. Barry Hardy operates wind whistle jets and has been guiding anglers on the Rakaia for over 15 years. Yeah, well, the jet boat is the way to travel on the river. It's uh, if, you, if you pull into a place and there's, you're not having any luck with any salmon there, you can load up and head up the river a mile or two, right. fishing the holes as you go. And, and quite a good way to just go uh, plain sightseeing to. To call the uh, backdrops and scenery here spectacular is a bit of an understatement. Oh yes, we think it's uh, a little God's own here and uh, uh, it certainly hasn't been exploited. Uh, you can come and fish up here and we mightn't see another person uh, for quite some time. Barry, the water looks real good. Uh, what are we going to catch? Well, it's, uh, it is in good condition at the moment for, uh, for salmon. Um, there's a few been running. Uh, 15, 20 pounders. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, it's picked up remarkably from the last year or two with the um, advent of the restriction the government put on the trawlers that were netting the salmon uh, out at the river mouths. So there's been a marked difference already in this right. season. Yeah. Uh, mate, we, we, I understand we spin for them with these uh, heavy chrome spoons. Yes, uh, Rod, they're called Z spinners. Uh, they're shaped in a configuration right. of a Z. And the yeah. idea is, as you're retrieving them, uh, they keep pulling down, right. even though the line might be coming up to the rod, uh -huh. the Z spinner stays on the bottom, the right. salmon are on the bottom. It's not really a, not like trout fishing where you'd spot your, spot your fish, spot your trout in the lake, and you'd go to it and fish it. Here, you'd pick an ideal spot, and you'd fish it, and uh, it's having the right lure in the right place at the right time. And, and what do you call an ideal spot, Barry? Usually a, um, a, a slower bit of water where the 
Uh, salmon will ease up after they've gone through a bit of heavy water. They'll perhaps go into a, a backwater where they can take a breather or wait for a mate to come up. They usually pair up mm. as they go up to the mountains and um, you can pick them up in those places. The salmon encountered in the upper reaches of the Rakaia have the added advantage of being able to use the swiftness of the river's flow in their efforts to get away. Caution should be taken during the fight as the added pressure applied by the river's current can result in pulled hooks or broken lines. It's gradually coming in, I'm gradually sort of yes. working him out of the current. Yes. Just as perseverance is needed to make the amount of casts required to catch salmon, so too is patience a must when fighting these determined fish. The salmon have an astounding amount of drive, spending their entire life waiting to reach maturity so they can make their final journey up these rivers back to the exact area where they first started life. There are great fish which provide freshwater anglers with unsurpassed sport every year. Yeah. Still got its adipose fin on the oh, bottom yeah, here, right. so it's not a tagged fish. Right. It hasn't been tagged. The fin's, right. the fin's still on there. 